Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. No Sadie, she's got school. That's the way it goes in the winter. We're gonna make something really homemade, okay? It's gonna be good, really good. Sonia. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna make what's called a chocolate cobbler and it's homemade. So y'all know I do cook homemade and modern. So let's get going. And I'm gonna give some thanks and stuff in a minute. Okay, we got. A, I'm gonna use a cup of um, self-rising flour. If you use plain flour, you know you have to add baking powder and salt, whatever you need to use to a cup. I know, but I don't always remember right away. <laughs> okay, we're going to use a half a cup of sugar, just plain old white sugar. If you want to substitute it, you can. A lot of times I have been lately, but all right, we've got two tablespoons of cocoa. Let's mix all this up together here. It's easier if you go ahead and blend this in just a little bit. If you don't mind, do it. <laughs> you don't have to, really. You could just go ahead and pour your milk and your cocoa in there, too, if you want to. See, I'm just mixing it all in there together. Now, I got a half a cup of milk, and guess what? This is powdered milk. I use it sometimes when I'm cooking, and this is what it is. This is very, very good. It's good powdered milk. Tastes good. You can use regular milk, though. I can use regular milk, but I didn't want to today. If I, I got some milk, but if I use that milk, I got to go to the store, and that's what I got the powdered milk for, so baking stuff with. Half a cup. And... Three tablespoons of um, oil, vegetable oil. You can use whatever vegetable oil you use, okay? Now, we're going to blend this all in here until it's smooth. And I'm going to use this whisk because it's just as easy to use this. It mixes it up pretty quick when it's smooth. What is this again? Chocolate pudding? No, it's, um, David, it's called a chocolate cobbler. But it's honestly, it's going to probably be something like a brownie. It'll turn, but just watch, this is kind of unique. That's all you put in here at the moment. And you just beat it up until it's smooth. It don't take but a couple minutes with a good, good heavy duty type of whisk. The only thing I don't like, a bunch of it gets on there. And to me, that's wasting it. Y'all know me. To me, that's wasting. Well, Sadie could take care of that if she was here. That's got no egg in it. She could lick. She would lick the crap out of that thing. She really would. She loves that kind of stuff. But she's a kid. All kids do. Mom used to give us the beaters when we were kids. I haven't seen Sadie for a couple weeks. I miss her. And they they have a little bit of a different situation, but they have a computer in their home now, so I guess that she just wants to stay on the computer and come and see her aunt. Well, Brenda. I guess they got to do their schoolwork. She finally... Yeah, she's, she's in school. They got a computer from somewhere. I don't know if someone give it to them or something. School, I don't know. the school. The school, yeah. Oh, I don't, yeah, she's got a computer that the school gave her when they closed the schools in March, but right now her schools are closed again because that virus is there. Okay, now you have an a eight by eight, and I got the wrong one for this. Go ahead, David. You can go right there, honey. Mm. Eight by eight, and pour this in there. See how easy it is so far? So this is like a brownie or something? It'll be similar to a brownie. Just watch. Just watch. I'm fixing this for you, David. You ain't... He don't know half the time what I'm doing when I'm cooking, so now that he's recording it, he's finding out all my secrets. Well, which is okay. I was thinking you don't eat much chocolate, but I do. You do, so it's for you. And I didn't get no chocolate cake for my birthday. That's right. Oh, you got a carrot cake because you like carrot cake. No, because you told me you like carrot cake. He's yeah, got this girl that used to making carrot cakes all the time, and now, you know, he don't see her no more. She's She was his... One of his best friend's daughters, but she he passed away, so David don't see them much anymore. And, well, uh, but on birthdays, I like chocolate. Okay, get you another bowl. You don't have to have a very big one. Okay, I will remember always to get you your chocolate cake. 
And to top it off with, I didn't even get none of that carrot cake. You egged it all up. That's a lie, and I just threw part of it away. You picked it all out, and I didn't even get none. What a lie. Don't y'all listen to his lies, because that gone. You need, you need a cup of packed brown sugar, but you might have to take your hand. That sounds hard dropping in there, but you need a tablespoon of packed brown sugar. I mean, a, a cup of packed brown There's sugar. There's some of our November You're peppers. You're getting me mixed up, and I'm trying to teach. Yep. That was a cup of That's packed our... brown sugar. In a different bowl. That's some of our November peppers. Yeah, that's some of our November peppers. What's left on the frost finally finished it all. Uh, the couple of them we didn't even realize was on there. We just went back and pulled stuff up and everything, and there they were. They I know it. came in there late on us. I've never seen that before. Okay. Now, you took out two tablespoons of cocoa, but you're supposed to have plus one fourth cup. Separate it. Two tablespoons in there, one fourth cup. Put that in there. It's called cocoa? It's cocoa. It's Hershey's cocoa. That's some kind of cocoa. I buy us Hershey's. That's what I like. Okay. Cocoa. People <coughs> know what bacon cocoa is. <laughs> Most people do. Okay. Now, let's... Uh-oh, that ain't going to do it. We'll have to use a spoon on this. But we can do that. Now, here comes the good part. Got to get this mixed all together real good, okay? See how easy this is so far? We're almost finished, by the way, just up, just baking it. That's a lot of stuff for folks to remember how much stuff you got to mix up That's in there. That's one reason why you need to start putting that recipe down on the bottom now, don't it? Don't I you? would if I had my old editing program that thing that i'm using i can't even hardly work it much less put stuff on the bottom david we're going to go to best buy when they open i i looked them up and it said they were closed but i don't know if they've opened back up or not a couple of weeks ago they hadn't and you're going to get you the program that you want you can talk to the nerds which is nothing wrong with nerds we gotta have them and they're going to tell you which is the best one for you to get to play with at home Nothing professional. Anybody know? Please let us know. Please. Well, I got the guy at work told me which one I might try. How long ago and when? Just you keep using the one. You keep you gonna keep using this one and griping about it the whole time, right? Until you get another one. Well, I paid a lot of money for that dumb thing. Just now look, we still got a cup and a half of milk here. I mean, water. That don't look like milk <coughs> to me. If it is, it changed colors on it. Oh, you forgot to put the water in? No. I said we still have that extra. Okay, now what we're going to do with this is we're going to sprinkle this all over the top of this. You know, try to get it as even as you can because it needs to be. If you can get it even, that's good. Just keep going over it like this. But it needs to be in the pan, not on the counter. I guess everybody's wondering already. Some probably done figured out what I'm going to do. I like that apron you got. This hush up about my apron. Look at my apron. I can't wait no longer. Look at my kitty cats. I know. John and Maria keep sending me all kinds of stuff, and I love it. The bracelets. The same folks sent you the same thing? Yeah, and the ring. The ring. And Sadia bracelet. They're from New York. She, she was excited. I want to look that up on the internet from more that place. Is that where they're from? Catskill. And that's uh, somebody that Cat might be. Skill. I hope they don't mind us talking about where they're from. <laughs> we don't even tell where we're at, let alone anybody else. We shouldn't be telling where they're from. Well, just in anyway, the we didn't tell where we're from in New York. But that store is a unique store, and I'm wondering if they have things they sell online. Probably they do. It might be like that place I took you to that Armish place that time, and they, Armish, uh, yeah, Armish. and they had that uh, apron I got you a long time ago. You still got that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've, I get cars from the Blue Ridge Parkway, all kinds of places. I love all those cars in there. So I'm gonna talk about that here in just a minute. All right. Now I got my oven preheated to 350 and I'm gonna do something here. Probably gonna let all my heat out, but. What's the water for? I'm gonna show you. 
I'm probably fixing the mess up. Just let me do this, and then I'll put it in there. Goes over top of this, and don't stir it. Just put it, pour it on there, and do not stir it. Uh -oh. stir. Shouldn't you use a strainer? Kind of strainer. Mm. Just pour it on top of it. Keep the ants out of it. If I, I can't really remember. Let me look at my recipe card. Let me see. Right there, David. It's got to cook 40 to 45 minutes, I think. So just check it in 40 minutes or so. Just go by your oven, okay? Now just put this. Looks like junk. Looks like slop, whatever, in there. No, it's actually good old, good old home cooking. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's John and Maria, I absolutely love this apron. It's got something. It remind. I'm gonna tell you what it reminds me of, kinda on the front side. This side it doesn't. It's nice. It feels like a. I don't know. Maybe like a real very expensive tablecloth on one side, and you just wipe it off if it gets wet or something. Well, something was hot to get you. It wouldn't go through. I don't know about that part, but it might take it a minute if it did. And it's got kitty cats, so I'm going to say that's because of my kitty. My boy kitty, he he's very vocal. When he wants out or when he wants tuna, he's very vocal. And also, <laughs> I've got these. These are so pretty. And thanks for the Christmas card. Yeah, that is nice. Aren't those pretty? It's a kitchen towel. I don't know if I can use them. They're too pretty. I know. This one I could use, but I don't know about this one. I love it. I'm gonna, it'll end up getting messed up, and I don't want to mess it up. Yeah. Anyway, they're beautiful. Thank okay. you. And look, now I'm going to tell you just lately. Look at the cards and stuff I get, and they got letters in them. That's nice. Everybody probably, there's the hamburger press. <laughs> Sometimes I write on it, and look at the kitty cat card. Yeah. Sadie yeah, likes that John too. John Maria finds some very unique things. And Sadie had Sadie had a little kitten that died, and so she's been feeling bad about it. Miss Mary, thank you for the card and the prayers. Thanks to every one of you for the prayers. I tell you, I need it, and I sure do appreciate it. There's the, that goes with that envelope. Okay. <coughs> the butterfly envelope. All right. <laughs> so I get. I've got prayer cards, birthday cards. This is ones I've gotten lately. Some of them's got, I like it. There's my Blue Ridge Parkway one, one yeah. hour. And I like this looking here, which I'm going to use. I, I got me a new Bible order, and I'm going to use it in there. Bookmarks. You didn't show me that. Yeah, I did. And this pretty little card, postcard. Yeah, it is nice. I ain't seen none of that. I show it to you. You just don't remember. Mm -mm. Yes, you, yes, I do. Mm-mm. But um, Norma and Daniel, or Norma and Dan, yeah, I appreciate the prayers. They send beautiful cards. Some of these, maybe I didn't call out before. I thank you for the cards and the letters and the gifts. But sometimes it's nice just to tell them thank you, you know. And this was John Maria when I got the bracelet here, this bracelet. And I got this bracelet. Now Sadie can't wait to get hers, she yeah, said. Yeah, she's, she's very excited about getting it. Yeah, I went up her last week. And Michelle Swanson. Thanks for the prayer and the birth and the cards. That's a beautiful card. Look at that. It is pretty. That's real nice. People spend a lot of money on these Hallmark cards. They're beautiful, though. Okay. And, uh, well, everybody, thank you so much for the cards. There's the hamburger. I mentioned that the hamburger press. But, anyway, I wanted to take time to thank everybody again for this stuff. And I do love it all. My bowls, I love these bowls. They're awesome. They are really awesome. So, anyway, we'll see. Let me tell you one more thing. I just got me some new canisters. I got to wash them. They're going to blend with my red ones. My, I'm not going to throw away my red ones because there's nothing wrong with them. Though they're very old. They're probably 30 years old or long or more. But Where'd you buy them at? Tupperware. These are Tupperware. Oh, I that's Tupperware? I got these off of eBay, but they're Tupperware. They're Tupperware? Mm -hmm, they're cute. They got oh. a different type of lid. They're like, like the pink one up there. I started to try to find something pink, but I, I seen these and I loved them. 
and they'll blend with the pink and the red. <laughs> well, we'll find out if they're just as good as the old ones, and if the ants can't get in them, we know Tupperware still got ants it. Ants can't get in none of my Tupperware. We'll and find let me out. Just take I ain't seen no ants for a month or so. This, they probably gone to have babies and come back <laughs> even more. I hope not. Those little tiny black ants, they worry me to death. When I bake and I'm using my counter stuff, I'm afraid one's going to come out, but I'm always real, real cautious, you know, and I try to spray stuff here and there. I don't go, not go get in my food to make sure, but I have hey, It hasn't been really that bad this year. I no, exaggerate it. very bad this nah. year. The year before last, they were. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> year before last, but this year I just pick on you all the time. But they hadn't been bad. Yeah, they just been picks bad. about the ants and stuff. And I know, but I know it gets y'all upset. Some people get upset about it, but he is just joking. Okay, he's a yeah. character at times. Well, I know that's it. Okay, so am I. Trying to just catch you off guard, just messing with you. Yeah, that's right. He's just trying to mess okay. with me, and I get excited too. We'll see you in a few. Okay, it's time for it to come out. I've left it the whole forty minutes, but I've also checked on it. This stove ain't never changed from day one till day 20. I mean, year 20. <laughs> I leveled it up a little bit for you. Nah, not much. <clears throat> Let's see what we look at it, and it's bouncy. It's bouncy. See that? It's bouncy. It's supposed to be like that? Yeah, it's supposed to be like that. Yup. Well, does it stiffen up after it cools or something? See, it's a cobbler. It's like a cobbler, oh. honey. Cobblers are somewhat gooey in there, you know. There's it smells not... good. Yeah, it might set up a couple more. But see, it's still oozing out of our chocolate oozing. Yeah, it smells good. I might better put it in one of these bowls for you. Well, thank you, dear. Like I said, David's always not, has never been here until we start doing this show. And now he sees how I'm making everything. So, anyway, I've been trying to teach him in case I go before him. I started originally trying to show him stuff. I showed him something a little bit ago. Just a, just a couple hours ago, I showed you something. I can't even remember what it was. Anyhow, he, he um, probably didn't even pay no attention because he can't even hear me going first. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I told y'all a while ago or not, but you do have to have a greased pan, okay? I sprayed mine. I think I mentioned that I sprayed mine. Well, you know, you, you said something about that cooking oil. You know what? Why didn't it set up right? I don't know. Maybe it ain't been in there long enough. It's been in there long enough. I guess it's... I, I can't remember. I think it sets up a little bit after it sets here a few minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and dip some out. It is still watery, but just eat it or drink it or whatever you have to do. It normally ain't like that. No, I know it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just took it out and I'm going to add some ice cream to that for you. Well, it probably has to cool down. Yeah, it has to cool a little bit, I think. Set yeah. it outside in that freezing weather for a few oh, minutes. It's cold out there. I believe it's going to frost tonight. Now watch, I probably won't be able to get my ice cream thing through this. I used to have me a Pampered Chef one. I had a Pampered Chef one. It worked real good. And guess what? I put it in the microwave on accident. And I need to get me another one. Okay, try it and see. No, you got to get it hot. Hot water. Well. You just do. That's the best way to do it. You got <coughs> rock hard. This was in the freezer in the back, so... Let me do it. Oh, it hurt my wrist. Poor little hands. Well, don't do it anymore. Let me do it. No, I'll, I'll get it. Just leave it. Let me do it. How much do you want? That's more. That's enough. You just need some for your test. I'll get yeah. it. Just get taste it and get. Let me give you a taste. It's kind of gooey anyway. It might not be any good. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> you mean you mean something I cooked ain't no good? I can't believe you said that. It looks like meatloaf. It looks like meatloaf. <laughs> like meatloaf to me yeah look it's already look when you get it out you have to put it over top of your dumpling here this is your dumpling but normally what i don't understand is normally just like the rest of my cobblers it's not this thin at all but i think it's gonna as it cools down a little bit but you do have to put it over top of your bread once you get your cobbler it does smell good 
Well, how could it not be good? You still want me to do the show? I mean, of course I want you to do the show. <laughs> it will listen. If you can't eat it, drink it. That's what you say when you're using cocoa and stuff. It'll harden up some. Mm. Any good? Yeah, it's good. How come you never knowed how good it was when I've given it to you before? My hands is filthy. I've washed them and washed them, and I ain't still. I know he's been working in his car parts. Huh? Are you using nah. the Dawn? Yeah, I'm using Dawn. I'm, it ain't it ain't cutting it. Well, David, I'm gonna give you some more ice cream so that you can eat this. It's all down in the wrinkles and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, see, it look, is baby, good. See, look, David, it's already trying to set yeah. up. It's, it'll set up some, you know. It ain't. You didn't use anything out of the store. Might wow, you might have good. to. He might have to put some. Um, of this in there to thicken it. I don't think so. Cornstarch? I don't think so, but... You don't remember? No, he never had to. I got it wrote down on a card. Never have had to. I think you just take it out and it sets up a little bit. Cause you don't remember that? come fresh out of the oven, it's going to melt your ice cream anyway. Normally you just take it off. Take it out and set it up for a little bit. Just let it sit think about it. for a few yeah. minutes. And... Well. Is that enough ice cream or you want more? Or what? No, that's enough. Well, there you go, folks, a homemade recipe. That's thinner than it was when I poured it in there. You know it? Maybe you done something wrong you don't remember. I don't think so. Well, we'll still put it on anyway, then, if you want to. Yeah, put it on anyway. Okay. If I think of anything that I forgot, I'll tell you. Still tastes good, though. I think it's just got to set up a little bit because, like I said, look at here. It's already setting up in here. See, it ain't as runny as it was. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. Okay, y'all. I hope you'll try it. Give it a try. and I'll read my recipe card again. I don't think I forgot anything. I'm sure I didn't. It just has to set up some all, and it will. It'll set up some. I've got faith. Well, if we don't, we'll eat it anyway. <laughs> just pour some of your dumplings and eat it anyway. That's what you have to do. <clears throat> Didn't cost that much to make it, so I've already had everything here. And that's what a lot of my viewers like, to make a recipe when you don't have to go to the store to get it. Right. Hold on one minute. You hear the very vocal one? Now, his name is Spaz. He's the one you always hear. Cute. The girls don't get too excited, but he's very, very vocal. He wants to be on a movie star. Yeah, I have a morning. He'll come and he says, He'll say meow, but he holds his mouth up and so he can just go, ow, ow, until he gets me awake or daddy awake. He's trying to go out. He's trying to say out. He wants out. out. He, he goes, wants ow. Ow. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. It sounds like <clears throat> he's saying, ow. And he's got a high-pitched voice, and his sister's got this real low-toned voice, and they love each other. But the one nipper had, as his sister had babies, one litter, and, um, She's mean as a snake, and I don't no, know what to not. do with her. She is too mean. See, she's not. She's not too mean. You ain't got no scars from her. I don't guess. Well, she don't smack me and get bothered. If she smacks me, I smack her back. No. <laughs> I do. I don't let her buy with it. I also get her with a bad kitty bottle, but I don't smack her hard. I just take her paw and say, and it don't do no good. She just gets madder. But anyhow, no, she I don't use you. my animals. She protects you from the deer. She chases deer. She chases everything. But I'm going to tell you, I got this little tiny bottle, and I got water in it, and that's my... There he is. I'm not handling you on my apron because you'll smash, mush it, and cut holes. There's the very vocal one. Come here. Look at here. Come here. See, look at here. I don't want to pick you up. And say, see here, I'm pretty. They were... And Mama's boy. They were wild, and uh, they were born... In this old pipe down there out back and and they were wild and so there was five of them and so we tamed two of them the other three got killed Spaz and nipper we tamed and with treats and play they're just as tame as they can be they're tame they're just as lovable but that's been them. years ago but yeah well they're eight at least it was in 2011 so uh they're nine Anyhow, then babies is one year younger than they were starving, so and, and we never saw the mother. I don't know what happened to I her. I think I saw the mother a couple of times. She's real light gray and real soft, like Nipper's soft. Yeah, Nipper's hair and stuff on yeah. her is so soft, and baby, she's real soft. So we tamed two of them, and, and something ate the other three. I don't know, something got them. I don't know what happened, <laughs> and uh, so we tamed them too, and 
and so they 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 really really have loved on them. Nipper came in and I couldn't catch her. She was still had a lot of the wilderness in her, so I couldn't catch her. I had an appointment to get her fixed. Somebody said, "Oh, they don't come in at five months." I said, "Oh, yes, they do. My daughter's cat did. We ain't taking no chance." The vet told her they won't come in at five months. I said, "I know better." So how many years ago she had that? Uh, she had some. What about five years ago? She had some. Who? Nipper. Uh, David, babies is Nipper had them cats. Let me see. She was. Then you had her fixed then, but. She was a year old. They were born. I'm pretty sure they were born like the first of March. How many did she have? She had five, wasn't it? Nipper had. Six, I think. And we gave them all away. She, she kept four. Yeah. One she ate and one you buried. I think she actually ate two. But they'll I don't do know that. about that. that. I ain't never heard nothing like that. I ain't true. You seen her? No, I didn't. <laughs> I won't puke. I ain't seen nothing like that. No, it's bedtime. Stay in. No. She, she uh, has. But we gave them all Look, away. I just want to show them, for that. for instance. Okay, watch this. Except for one. You stay right there. And... Nobody take the last one, so. Come here, boy. Oh, he's done ran. He seen me get it. He seen me get it, and he ran. It's, it's something else that they're scared of this. A bottle of water. That's all it is, is water. And they're scared of that, though. Okay. He seen me getting, and he took off. Anyway, we're going to see you next time, and want to thank everybody for watching. And also, this is on Monday before Thanksgiving, so we want to wish all of you a very happy Thanksgiving, and God yep. bless you all, and please stay safe. Happy and safe mask. Thanksgiving. That's right. And travel safely if you're traveling. Most people ain't traveling this day and time while this is going on, but we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Bye.